Hi guys, Mark Crossford here with the magician himself, <laughs> Coach Lockie. We're going to do a little challenge, but this is a lesson, okay, for people to learn. We're going to play a few series of chips, and you've got to choose your land angle, okay? Uh, oh, sorry, your landing spot. Yeah. Angle is irrelevant, obviously spot changes for reference to what angle you want to land at. Yep. And we're going to challenge to see how good your execution is compared to your imagination. Yep. And I think this is something that golfers could be doing. They could be working out if they're rubbish at executing or they're rubbish at vision, if they need which one they need to work on or both or what have you. Yep. Let's get stuck in. Right, coach, where are you seeing the landing spot here? Like, um, as long as it's before that uh, that hump, I'm fine, pretty much. What loft? 52. Okay, you're gonna try and go before that hump because you're gonna run it up that up hump. Over, yeah. Like, land angle is the first thing that I talk about when I'm doing short game lessons. It's okay. so important, and that's what I would reference first thing. So just before that slope. Checked out. So what did you do there? So you didn't see the land angle or you didn't execute it? Um, it checked. I wasn't expecting it to check. It was more my strike that made it check. I so it's your execution yeah, there, isn't it? It's not my land, my landing spot. You I would, would play do that every exactly time. again. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Totally. Right, where are you seeing it? Yeah, well I was seeing it over that bump, but now I'm here, I'm not. Landing it over the bump, you've got to be so precise. Yeah, I agree. So I've got a 50, and I'm seeing it at the base of the up. Anywhere over the fringe and short of the base of the up. Yeah. And on the right, see the little triangle? Yeah. Where it's yeah, yeah, up, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. There, with a 50. So it might take me a few goes to actually execute the problem. <laughs> <laughs> So I would say I threw that about three foot short of where I wanted to. Very similar results. Yeah, if you come and look, come and look at that. Like the only thing that I'm seeing now that I've played it is that as soon as you get to the green, this is all uphill. Yeah. So we're landing it on an upslope basically, which is where I think also my ball might have checked more than Kay. possibly if it was flat. So, so mine landed around here, I think. It's maybe me not analyzing the green enough as well. Okay. So I, I, I landed here. Yeah. I was trying to land it here. Yeah. And if you look how far short it is, I think if I landed mine where I wanted to with that loft, yeah. I would have been around there. Yeah. So I'm happy with my vision. It's my execution yeah. on that shot that is letting me down. Yeah. But if you're playing that shot and you're not doing going through this process, how do you know what to practice? Yeah. How do you know what you need to get better at? You could be just nipping them lovely. Like I did that one in um, the classic one in um, oh, yeah. the Christmas special, so, yeah. nipped it. You know, and I nipped it and I landed it kind of where I wanted to. And it was no, that lack of vision makes me not want to be on a golf course. It makes me want to go and practice. Yeah. Hence I got so angry. With that, my vision is great. It's just my execution needs to be a bit better. So get me on the course, get me doing more of them. Yeah. Let's try another one. So we're downwind, this is uphill. Almost feels like it goes a little bit more uphill here and then to a relatively flat green, maybe slightly towards us. Yep. Um, tangling in fringes is not good in Spain. Pops and stops. And this stuff, it? it doesn't run through very easily. You know, it really does grab. Certainly when it's coming in at an angle as well, doesn't it? It kind of just pops it. Yeah. So this is the case now where we've got to land it on, I think. Yep. I'm going lob wedge. I want to land it in this cut, or I'm happy anywhere here. Anywhere there is good, isn't it? And I kind of don't mind here, but I know it'll go here. Yeah. And I feel if I go here, it's going to go a long way past. Yeah. And I don't know if you're all the same. I'm seeing it like in my negative way, almost there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want it on the green, not sure. Yeah, I do too. But if I was going to miss, you know? Yeah. Land it on your spot. Land my spot. Yeah, good. It was a bit low. But it landed here, didn't it? Yeah. 
So it's kind of the spot, nice and checky. It, came, it was one of those low fizzers. Yeah. Take that. Okay. Yeah, well, it's spot again. I, so I'm happy that I'm picking the right spots, and that's what these guys and girls have got to be testing. Because, I, you know, I don't see much at chipping, but the fact that I see the land spot gives me some confidence, you know what I mean? Gives you some hope. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I'm leaving breeding on is a bit of hope. Yeah, it's good and more accurate. Pretty much the same. Little yours was a little closer to the fringe, but good execution and good landing yeah. spot. Yeah. A double pleasing shot, Matthew, as Lovely. in for you, landing spot direction, you know, and off you go, tap in. Oh, he's lagged it. <laughs> right, long chip and run style. Mark going up to where he wants to land it. Right and he, here. you're going a long way up. Yeah. Okay. With this loft, all I would get. I would use a 7 iron here and land it more here. Yeah. But I've got my 50. Okay. Should we try it? Yeah. So Mark playing his shot up. Bit of a greenkeeper because it's in the morning doing his little bit of trimming. And he's pitched that pretty much where he wanted. That's a good shot. Good weight, good everything. I'm like him. I would be going in front of the green chip and running all day, but uh, because he's got his 50. Here, perfect for land. Landed spot was good. I was expecting it to come this way. Reed was poor. Yeah. Still take that. That's a good shot from down there. And again, that's what I'm happy with. I'm starting to see, I don't execute it enough, but I'm starting to see landing spots. Yeah. When I'm chipping really bad, which I can do sometimes nowadays, I don't see anything. I'm literally just hitting it and seeing a green. Yeah. Um, and it's something I've done in my garden a bit. Like, can I land it on that spot? And does it, la does it roll to where I think? Oh yeah, it kind of, kind of does. Yeah. Uh, it gives me, gives me confidence. So where's your landing spot going to be? Well, I've got a pitching wedge. And you like to go really low sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to turn it to like an eight iron and pitch it on the front-ish, short of the first hump and run it all the way. Okay, the other thing I need to add is I, it was into the wind. Yeah. So I was happier throwing it against the cushion a bit. Yeah. Which is why I had that further up. So I think Matt's going to try and land it kind of where he is, about there-ish. So he's going to use the pitch wedge. I use the 50, so he's got a little less loft on him, and he's going to take it down. I had the 50 and just kind of used the 50 degree. So he's going to play this more like I would play, like an eight iron, seven iron, and not take loft off and just play it. Yeah, so that he's on really low, straighter. He's read the line better than me, and again played a good shot. Great shot. So for me, it's execution keeping imagination as it is and i think this is why you when we play sometimes you're like i say i think i'm gonna do this and you're like what <laughs> i mean see how we played those yeah, i mean yeah. yours is better the line was better my pace well probably pace, pace is about is the good, same yeah, you're yeah. short where yeah. i'm long um but i'm just seeing i don't think you're seeing them in a better way you're just executing them yeah better. yeah and each one of my land spots there was correct which the, is the things that i see in lessons as well with short game is that people got one technique and change club whereas i've got that option but i've also got the option of using one club and changing loft yeah 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 so i've got a million more shots than that person with one technique and changing loft because they've basically got 14 shots in theory yeah which is kind um, of what i was saying as you were walking back i'm not changing the loft of mine much yeah I think you're 50 and I'm just hitting that loft and landing it appropriately. Yeah, and I think it's just a process. Land spot and then you pick what trajectory you need for it to run out, which is club yeah. or club and setup. Yeah. And then it's about executing it. Yeah, so absolutely. That's Good amazing. Stuff. So I think for people out there, this is a great drill for them to do. Just pick your spot, see if you can land on it. Once you're landing on it, are you picking the right spot? Mm -hmm. Like you say, the process. If you're not doing that, then your practice is so randomised, I'm not actually sure what you're practising. Yeah. Thanks, coach. Another good chip there from you. Thanks. Now. That's a win, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs>